come on, don't be so nervous. Hi hi, it's Jen. Um so I haven't released a YouTube video in a while because of a few things, one of them just being editing programs. So originally I always edited every single one of my videos on my Mac and that was fine and all for when my recordings were smaller, like the create a sim, those are much smaller files. However, when I do a speed build and the amount of it is over five hours my mac could not handle it like storage wise it kept saying i need to free up storage and the program i use on there is not available on pc where i would have enough storage so i went through a few programs before kind of like getting frustrated so this is actually a really old video of mine whenever i build on the sims or like make certain characters even if it's just for fun i always record it because i can potentially use it for content so this is me remaking the goth house i kind of like had this idea at the time to recreate a lot of builds that are already in the sims and remake neighborhoods so my main goal being to keep pieces from the original part of it and the overall design and layout but make it feel a bit more by lots free up for other builds i potentially want to do but i guess i keep the original neighborhood in a sense so this is actually the goth's house and if you see in the beginning i actually evened out the lots so that way both could be the same size and potentially make this kind of townhouse kind of look um i also apologize if you hear myself twice in the background this editing software makes so much more sense to me than others but it's a little wonky it's a little glitchy i can't wear my headphones while doing the audio part of it like the voiceover so i hear myself slightly echoing on the speakers i don't know if the mic will pick it up but if it does i apologize but yeah i made this build in 2021 so it's been at this point almost like two years which is kind of crazy but so some of this stuff is a lot newer for me if you don't know the goth family in the sims i lied i made this in 2020 that's why i said two years but then i was thinking in my head that math does not add up i made this in 2020 so yes over two years ago but to explain the goth family for some people who don't play the sims as actively they're one of the oldest families that run in the sims games they were in the sims 1 sims 2 sims 3 and now the sims 4 so the sims 4 family themselves consist of mortimer bella their kids cassandra and alex so alex originally in his the house had this little attic room at the top so i wanted to keep that I do add on later more about Bella's career, which in The Sims is a secret agent, but I wanted this house to have like a bit funkier of a shape. I also really like compressing everything. I like making tiny builds and tiny houses, and originally I wanted to make this actually a tiny house. I think I tried to make the goth family into a tiny house, but my issue is, is I feel like with tiny houses, you always just get this really, really big lawn. And I don't like the vibe of it. I like compressing everything. I don't know why. It's just more fun for me. Even with painting, I like to make tinier paintings. I think in my head it's easier for me because I'm working with less space. And as a result, I don't have to do as much and can focus in on certain aspects. But yes, for this one, I actually remember basing it off of a town, not a townhouse, but I looked up a gothic house and I kind of revamped it to fit the mold of a townhouse. I'll try to put the picture on here if I can remember where I found it from, but essentially what I do is I take the old build from the original thing and I take some aspects of the furniture, a wallpaper, and put it in. And I, I do change parts of it to see which ones I like the most. Now this was the annoying part was the stairs, is that the stairs was gonna take up so much of his room. I think I ended up swapping for a ladder, which was later introduced in tiny builds, which I do love, and I think a ladder going to an attic made a lot of sense. I made um, the rooms for Bella and Mortimer and then Cassandra the same around the same size because again this is a much smaller part of it. I tried to do this open porch thing on the side later on which is that aspect that's outside on the left. Um, I did that because I remember distinctly them having like this outdoor room in The Sims 3 because I used to be obsessed with the goth family and I would go to their house a lot because I just really liked the way it looked. For this build I really liked using a combination of get together windows with like the little cute get last stains because i think the little pop of red is so nice against all the black i do also have a really big obsession with plants landscaping 
is one of my favorite things and but adding a shit ton of plants to the outside of the house is also one of my favorites i keep going back to alex's tower because I, I think i felt really unhappy with it i wanted it to just stand out against it rather than just seeing like this random placement room that was added on um but i also have a lot of trouble with roofing sometimes because i think wait the wet i went back to check to see if i had seen this clip already but i think i'm just extremely inconsistent and unhappy with all choices i make because i couldn't find it was just me finagling with the roof and then never being happy with it roofing is hard i remember when i used to build in the sims 3 and sims 3 was not fun to build in but i remember in the sims 3 they used to have like this auto roof part of it and i really liked using that feature i probably use it too much which is why i struggle so much with the sims 4 roofing but that's also why i like having reference pictures because it does help me figure out how i want to do the roof but yeah i wanted to have like this cute little outdoor kind of area where they can and eat and everything um i think it was meant to extend into the kitchen i don't remember if i made it into a room or not in terms of dying yep here i am going back to the roof because damn i think i'm just really unsatisfied with it i also hate how much it clips into the room itself which is another issue i also get this issue where everything clips inside like the molding on the outside just because it's it's, it's a glitchy game but it's okay i i learned to work through it there's also a lot of people who have tips and everything i just completely forget every single one of them it's kind of fun though looking back at the build i did before because i actually remember a lot of this one i think it was a lot of fun to do but I don't remember the exact things I did to each part of it. I do remember putting in like this secret basement because Bella's job in The Sims 4 is to be a secret agent, so that's a lot of fun. Um, and I feel like that's not really ever talked upon in the game that she's a secret agent. I think it's a rat thing. The downstairs, I had a bit trouble with the floor planning, I remember, because of the shape of the house. I wanted the shape of the house to kind of follow the original house where it's like you walk in there's a staircase to the left is the living room and a bit up ahead was the kitchen so i actually made it more like the kitchen kind of had like a servant's room kind where the kitchen itself was quite tiny because they were supposed to have workers that made the food for them because they kind of have this air of a very rich house um it's apparent more in earlier games i feel in the sims 4 i feel like it's there but they just have money not necessarily more wealthy but that's why i tried to add windows inside i don't know i feel like fancy places have windows <laughs> inside um no practical house would have that i also wanted to make sure i added a bathroom downstairs and other things so i was struggling a bit with the floor plan because i need to make sure i also added in the living room so i think i go back later on and add the living room into the room that's empty right now because i still had to add in um a tv and everything you know what's weird is i actually remember the original build didn't have a tv i think they only had laptops in their rooms i don't even know if they had that if they even had a computer i remember always adding in a computer but that's so weird for the sims because having a fun bar is really essential and if you got no electronics it's really hard for your sims to have fun besides in other ways i also want to do like this fancy half wall because i wanted the rooms to not feel super closed off but create a clear divider between them without using walls so i i opted more for arches but there was no way to make it even with the amount i had so i put in that half wall um so yeah i pushed the bathroom back a bit more and then that small little weird L area I think I created into the kitchen where it's really tiny. It's not meant to be this nice grand kitchen that their places had. If you were cooking your own food, if you had other people cooking for you, you can kind of like push it together kind of thing. But yeah, this is me just taking a lot of the original furniture and seeing if I can change it. But yeah, I wanted to keep the original aspects because that's what I find fun about redoing things I already made. Like even if I were to redo... Um, creative sims and everything is that i like to add new aspects oh my god i love clutter i love putting shit on top of everything like do they usually put stuff on top of bookshelves most people no me yes irl and in the sims i wanted to have a lot of that in here i took a quick water break and i realized that if i crack my knuckles and stuff then like picks it up on here in comparison to like on stream and everything because i have all the filters on and 
I should, I should give a warning. I'm sorry if you don't like cracking bones. I just thought that was really funny. I know a lot of people don't like the sound of cracking bones. I don't know, I find it satisfying. It's probably because I crack my bones myself. But yes, I don't remember if this was the original wallpaper, but I do like having wallpapers in different rooms to differentiate the rooms itself. But I don't like having a lot of dividers or walls, which is why like there's that very small wall. So it was mostly so I could fit the fireplace. But it works because it divides the front door a bit from the room itself. But your field of vision isn't completely cut off because I didn't find any archways or anything, or did I? Did I add that in later? I like the open look. But yeah, they had like random furniture everywhere in kind of like the room you enter in. What is that room called? I totally did not look it up. It's called a foyer. But yeah, I like having open space, but also making everything feel very different. One of the things I think a lot of houses lack is paintings, pictures. There are ways to get all the paintings in The Sims 4 if you download a room from the gallery, and I like doing that to make the rooms have a little bit more of a personality. I was struggling a bit on where the bathroom entrance should be and what it should look like. I like adding little curtains to the top of them so it feels more decorated, but I wasn't sure if it should be in the kitchen or the living room. I decided the living room made more sense even though it, it could connect to the kitchen, um, it's right there, so it's not too much of a walk for them. There could only be one door. So this is the cute little crowded kitchen part of it. I'm also super indecisive, so I go back out and edit out all the parts where I'm literally just scrolling through objects, being, hmm, which one of you will be my victim today? But this part, I really wanted to be closed off because I wanted to not seemed like the room wasn't there so again i opted for curtains to kind of hide the arch because i viewed this as more like oh they would have people making their food for them they don't have workers but i i can pretend they do and i also was not sure what to do with this space under the stairs i could have just left it as is but instead i decided to turn it into a makeshift laundry room where they could use all the stuff and it kind of again was like oh well if they had workers or something in their house doing things for them that's where they could be and it kind of hides from the dining room with all the really really high walls um but yeah so if i want to hide something i'll add more dividers and everything which is what i do here to hide the little path to the laundry room i didn't want to put the entrance to it by the stairs it just I don't know, I felt like that would take away from the entrance room, which is where I have like the fine china and everything. I really like redoing any of the goth stuff though, just because there's so many dark themes and everything. I, I love the vampire pack. In terms of furnishing, that is one of my favorites. I haven't explored a lot of the new stuff. I have gotten it, but again, I, this, I did this in 2020, so there's some new furniture pieces I probably would have used in here, but I, I didn't. Um, I'm just glad I had the utility stuff for the laundry day things, but I like adding clutter into small little areas where they would be. You would put stuff under the sink. Um, I also am a big fan of symmetry at times, but other times I really like things to be asymmetrical. They also seem like people who would just have a random chocolate fountain in their house. For what reason? Nothing. But they now have one. I really like adding also the old vents from the vampire pack to make the house seem like it's a lot older than it is because houses that are built relatively newer like my house was built in the 2000s and we don't have any of these those old vents but if you go to an older hotel or apartment buildings they have those vents so i like to use those in to show age in a sense i think i debated putting them in there at first because i wanted something against the wall here um because again i need shit everywhere we need to showcase that we are gremlins but in the most methodical way you know we think it out is there shit everywhere yes but does it look like the little dragon's lair with thought also yes um this is me just oh i like the doing the upstairs bedrooms are my favorite to do because there's a lot of personality that goes into them especially when you have um, kids in the family because they, they don't have their shit everywhere. Everything technically in the dining room and stuff is a result of the parents. Oh yeah, this is me trying to figure out how to do the staircase without taking away from bedrooms because I was upset I had to cut so much of Cassandra's room. It didn't feel fair. I didn't like it because I wanted her to also have her own bathroom, I believe, so I was able to then redo everything. I don't think I left it that small. 
because I remember making it a bit bigger. I also like adding um, more teen. Yeah, see, this is the bathroom I had for her because it made sense for me that her bathroom would be more towards the outside compared to the parents where you will have to go in the room because I'd imagine her and Alex would share a bathroom. So there's a door on both sides in her room and through the other door. Um, it makes sense to me. In The Sims, I also like making almost every bathroom a full bathroom if I can because the showers don't take up much space. Like in real life, you would definitely not have every single bathroom be a full bathroom, but considering these people's high demand needs, it's, it's kind of needed. I think also in the original floor plan I had, the rooms were symmetrical from each other, Cassandra's and then the parents. And that also didn't make much sense to me. I think that the parents would have the bigger room, or at least a quote-unquote grander type of room. So I wanted to compress her room a bit to make theirs seem bigger. Even if it's just that extended part where Alex's ladder is, it, it feels a bit different. Her room gets cut off a lot by the bathroom, but I wanted to use the shape a bit to my advantage. Again, curtains by the places where curtains don't have to be. I think it's fun. The one thing I do hate about my builds is that I very much like having windows, but I will not let windows stop my floor plan. So my windows get cut off a lot by walls and I don't have the room in it for me to care because I want the windows outside to be more symmetrical by like having a bit of a funky floor plan so that way I can use the walls to my advantage for furnishing and everything. So yeah, this is the full bathroom. You have to always add the toilet paper. Also, it's like toilet paper in The Sims 4, like 50 simoleons, which makes you think a lot. So I remember I saw this thing where someone said that inflation is very real in The Sims because the toilet paper in The Sims 1 was about $10 or something. But yeah, I also really like this idea for their room to have kind of this seating area for Mortimer and um, Bella. It, I don't know, I just like have this thing in my head where Bella would like try on outfits, she would have like this little seating area where it seems like a dress up room seating area where when you would try on clothes in a store and there's that seating area for the people who don't want to try things on, that's the vibe I was getting. For Alex's room, I, I think I struggled a bit originally on how to lay things out just because the ladder was there and I need to make sure he had access around that. Um, he also had a single bed. I think I now maybe would have opted for giving him a double bed but i didn't think of it much at the time also this paintings we need paintings everywhere um especially the kit they need to have the little kiddish looking paintings or posters just because it, it feels on brand even if you are a part of this high exquisite family you would still have that stuff everywhere the one thing i will say about the Bella and Mortimer's room I don't really like is how close the bed has to be to that one corner of the bathroom. It kind of just throws me off. Also again, windows. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Also, I do think ceiling things should be used more. I like adding satellite dishes to some of mine or even the... How is it called? The panels that go on the roof. The, not sunroofs. Solar panels. Those. I think those are also fun to put on a family, especially if you think the family would be kind of up with that stuff, They're, they really want to be environmental and everything. I really want solar panels on my house when I'm older, it just it kind of makes sense to me. But I also like having the flat roof parts of houses where they serve more as a covering for the porch or that extension to the house I have. Um, that way the roof doesn't cut off entirely all of the decor that's outside, but you, it's still functional but it gives it the house, I feel, a bit more of a modern vibe since a lot of modern houses, they're very flat, like they're very square, so they look like Minecraft's house, um, not, not to diss on that, but that's how I feel about some of the modern stuff. Also, always adding the soil outside of the houses because it, it makes sense, putting it on the edges. I do kind of hate landscaping in those aspects, like putting down all of the airbrush effects. I also never understood fake balconies. Like they look really pretty architectural wise, right? But I knew people growing up around the houses by me and they're not like particularly grand. They're not small, but the houses are pretty average. And some of them would have those fake balconies where they cover the porch and they would put little fences and someone's window would be by what could be a balcony. I remember I had this friend growing up where her room was by that. And in my head, I'm always like, I would climb out my window and 
stay up there. I'd put a little chair. Cause I think balconies like in real life are fun. I think they're really pretty. I think looking back on it now, they would definitely be the type of family to have a balcony, even in their backyard, just something. It, it feels like something they would, they would have. I know I put the pancakes next to them. So they have balconies because they had some in their original house. But I think the Goss family definitely would have um, a balcony. I also do really like adding pools to all the houses in The Sims because it's really good exercise for them. Um, of course, their pool has to look like blood. I mean, it doesn't even really look like blood. It looks more like wine to me. But it's a nice little outdoor thing, especially since I didn't really want to put um, like children's play sets and everything. Didn't fit up the vibe. But they could have their fancy little barbecues and everything. Also, since I did put them next to the pancakes, which I'll, I, I, will, I, I think I have the video for that one, I do imagine that they would throw parties around the same time. They're such polar, not polar opposites, but they have such different vibes from everything that I thought it'd be funny. Also this, I remember in the Sims 3 house, they had a whole graveyard for like the generations within their family. And they don't have that in The Sims 4 as much, so I put a bunch of gra fake gravestones everywhere it, because of what I'm reminded of. Um, I also was kind of annoyed because the fencing would not connect to the molding of the house. So I had to use little statues as spacers so that way that small part could be closed. And also remember to save your games while playing The Sims because if it does not save, you will die and hate yourself. Also, I tried these like fake little sidewalk parts. I think they're part of the... Um, like the Hollywood expansion pack. The Sims can't walk on it. I was like, oh my god, this looks so cool. I put so much effort into adding it. And I want to see, I'm pretty sure they cannot walk on it. And I'm like, what is the point of having them then? Because I was like, oh fuck, I can't add furniture to it. And then I realized I could. I could put furniture on top of it. I think I tested that later if people could walk on it and it didn't work out. I just remember that. I also really wanted the goth house to be by this little garden area because that garden is not part of the house it's an extension of the world and it just seems fitting to me that they would have that next to them not me just realizing i put a jacuzzi in their bathroom i'll also say these houses do tend to take me like a good amount of time i would say a good few days so a lot of the clips don't line up perfectly because i have to come back and do them multiple times um this is me adding in bella's little secret basement room thing um i ended up putting the entrance to it in the, the main foyer because i had nowhere else to put it if i'm being honest so i instead tried to hide it by adding statues around the staircase and then i added gates so that way the underneath of it could kind of be hidden um you'll see that more up top but i added basically just everything from the career pack i had to put a cheat in in the beginning to make sure i could unlock all of this i put stupid emo um emotional i put stupid inspirational quotes everywhere and this is also me taking advantage of the star wars thing that i never really use ever it just it, it kind of fits a vibe that she just would have weapons underneath her house you know it, it seems realistic to me. Wow, I go back and add a lot of stuff to everything. I didn't even realize that I did that. That's okay though. I probably want to just copy some things to see. Yeah, this was the biggest thing though, is that the wallpaper, you could actually see it on the top view. And it kind of bothered me, so I tried to make sure it was the same right there. So when you're looking down, it doesn't seem like it's a completely different room because I feel like I killed the vibe of it, you know? <laughs> Theoretically, it probably would have made more sense now that I think about it to use a ladder instead of that, but it, it's okay. Um, I thought I was being clever, but this was- oh my gosh. So the molding kept coming inside. I think I mentioned once that sometimes it clips inside depending on how you build the rooms. And so this was me trying my best to like fix the moldings because it kept coming inside the rooms and it's like okay finally it worked blah 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 i had to redo all of the walls so that was i actually remember it still not working towards the end so i think i did it all for nothing if i remember correctly but it, it's uh, it's still in my footage you know what i think about though i think about how i do think the goth family would have like maids and butlers i know for the sim for the maid service where you they call in but i think they would have an at-home butler 
Um, I don't think I added a room for that, but I 100% think they would have an at-home butler. And I kind of wish I took that into consideration when making the house. The only bad thing is that since it's a shared lot with what's going to be later the Pancakes house, is that they would technically work for the Pancakes as well. But that's besides the point. I, I think it's the vibe that overall matters. I haven't done a voiceover in so long and my throat hurts so much. I will say though, I think it's a lot different of the way I recorded things, even voiceovers, because I remember when I used to make Sims videos a lot in like 2018, I would still get really nervous being in front of the microphone and I'd be like, hi, how are you, blah blah blah, my voice would instantly go up an octave just because I was nervous. Um, I don't know why, I really wanted to add this thing somewhere. What even is it? Okay, anyways, I, I seemed very, very hellbent on adding that somewhere, but I do think with streaming and everything, it has helped me be, I'm no like laid back's the right word, but I'm not as crazy about making everything perfect. Like I used to edit the shit out of my voiceovers and everything so that if there was like the smallest amount of space between words, I would just cut it out because my brain was like, oh, I have to be speaking every single second. And I do think that's still to a degree, but oh my shit, am I almost done? Ooh, so that's the end of the video about, I think I'm just adding the finishing touches to everything. And I have to add the screenshot still, but thank you so much for watching. It means a lot. And I really enjoyed working on this house when I did. It was a lot of fun. Um, so thank you so much for joining me. I don't have a set schedule yet for YouTube videos, but I go live on Twitch every single Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday, so I'll see y'all then for one of those, and I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are in the world, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!